Hillsborough County Sheriff's detectives are trying to find a tutu wearing burglar who pulled off an unusual heist. Rod Carter joins us now live at the farmer's market off Fletcher Avenue where this all went down. And I, I would say this is bizarre, but that seems like such a dramatic understatement. You and I were texting about it earlier. It's just weird. Yeah. I mean, I mean, really, Jen, you just cannot make this stuff up. Only, uh, granted, it was 2 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning. I mean, it was Halloween night. But, yes, a guy did break into a farmer's market wearing a tutu and then eat fruit and drink juice. I'm not kidding. It's a short black and white clip of a burglary in progress. But it's the crook's choice of clothing that dances off the screen. Don't yep, the guy tutu. is wearing a tutu. Don't mess with my they say, don't mess with my tutu. John Santone Sr. runs the Tampa Farmer's Market on Fletcher. He runs it with his sons. He's been here for a couple of years, but has been running markets like this for a very long time. They jump the fence. You could see like a little um, warp in the fence. And in all of that time, he has never seen anything like this. I think that uh, it was Halloween, and I don't know if it was like a prank. The way the guy was dressed, he didn't seem like he was playing with a full deck. Santone tells me the two-two thief and his accomplice, who was actually wearing a hoodie, didn't do too, too much damage. Thank God it was minimal uh, compared to what it could have been. After spotting and then covering the surveillance camera, they ate a watermelon, a pineapple, a few apples, and threw the remnants on the ground. But they weren't done there. They took this crockpot lid and used it to smash one of the glass doors to the small store at the market. And went inside and just uh, threw popcorn and all types of things around in there. And then they drank juice. And now the hunt is on. Yeah. So now we're on the lookout for the tutu thief. When I mess with my tutu, no. And see, here's the bitter irony. Get it, bitter lemon, bitter irony of the whole thing. John told me had these guys just actually asked him for the food, he probably would have just given it to him. He's done that time and time again. But uh, my theory here is, Jen, that they, their motivation really was not to eat. I could be wrong, but I, I'm going to go with that. I, you know, I, I've had to ask reporters many times on stories about a suspect <laughs> description, but I'm having a hard time uttering these words. But work with me here. Any description for these guys besides the tutu and the hoodie? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd ever say that on TV. Mm -mm. So, yeah, the guy in the tutu was actually sort of like a, um, probably a cheerleading costume, and he either had on a wig or a lot of hair, and he's a thin white guy. The other guy, they don't know his race, but he did have on a hoodie with an owl on the front. So, yeah, the deputies and detectives are hoping that someone could see something and would just give them a call and let them know who this is. Yeah, I did that. For the owl? You're just not right tonight on I this story. Thank you, Rod Carter, reporting live for us. Appreciate it. And developing.